as you can see in my room, I need a bed. So that's the plan today. Okay, now I'm gonna start cutting the wood and marking it up. Okay, so the next step I've done, I've attached hinges to each of the four corners. Uh, the hinges came with small screws, but I used bigger ones that will get into the two by fours a lot easier. And this allows me to do a really cool feature, which you'll see later. The next step is the feet, which I'm gonna attach. Okay. The next step is to drill some pilot holes. Um, I always drill pilot holes for screws, that way I don't split the wood. It's also a really great way to ensure that the screw goes in straight. Another thing I do that's very useful is I always mark where I'm going to drill. That way it's just very clear. And as you can see, I'm choosing these two corners because there's no screw there, no screw there. And two should be enough to hold this block on. Cool, that looks pretty good. Next, time, next job is to do the other three corners. There we go. As you can see, the foot feet are on. I only screwed them to the sides, but as you can see, there's still a little bit of a gap so that the ends can rest on them as well. Okay, so now I've done some math to figure out the length apart that the beams need to go on. And then I've strung out the ribbon that I'm gonna attach to the wood. I've already done the first two, as you can see. Okay, so I've officially anchored down the plate at the far end, right? And now I've made sure all the spacing's correct between the things. I calculated 4.75 inches in each of the spaces. So I used a measuring tape to figure that out. And then I strung up the lines equal distance on opposite sides. And now I am screwing all of the plates in with these guys. They're uh, little screws, but with a really flat top head, which is good on this type of material. And normally I would just like use a soldering iron or something to pierce through here, but these guys are going in really well and not disturbing the nylon too much. So I'm just anchoring them in with the impact driver. Okay, so now I've finished the strings. They're all attached. So now all those are together and it's as simple as laying those on the bed. This is pretty common for beds. So as you can see, frame I turned upside down, put these little feet on it in each corner, and what's nice about these are they're adhesive, and you can just screw them in really nice and easily. Okay, now for the piece de resistance, the reason for the hinges, and the thing that makes this bed really cool is... Yeah, I'm building outside, but I gotta get through doors and stuff, right? And I want it to be easily movable, which is hard, because it's so big. So the secret with this guy is, I can just fold it up. It folds into this nice, long, super easy, compact, thing and then it's as simple as just turning it over and putting it through the door. So I got it in the house really easily because I was able to fold it up. 
I just laid out the frame and now for the fun part. <sighs> Beautiful.